Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, the second class citizen by Bochi and Mechita. In our previous lessons, we have discussed the plot of the novel, we discussed the characters and the characterization, and the major themes in the novel. However, some of my students want me to do the chapter by chapter analysis of the novel, and uh, we are going to be doing it today. I'm going to be briefly discussing every chapter of the novel and uh, I have a comprehensive uh, analysis of the chapters of the novel uh, which is almost about uh, 31 pages so I will not be including all of them on the slide because of uh, time and also because of space so I will be briefly uh, looking at the summary which I have uh, uh, summarized into slides so uh, we are going to be looking at chapter 1 of the novel and uh, one of the major significant that happened in chapter one is Ada goes to school. It's when Ada, the protagonist of the novel, uh, decided to go to school on her own. So we saw that uh, uh, we see the eight-year-old Ada making an audacious attempt uh, to start schooling on her own terms. So Ada is clearly not happy with the fact that uh, she has to stay at home while her younger sister boy while her younger brother boy uh, is in school. So her reasoning is simply this it will be difficult for her to achieve her dreams, especially the one about traveling to United Kingdom uh, if she did not go to school. And then we saw that uh, a dance a father pa and the mother man we are not so concerned about the education of Ada. they were not so concerned about uh, sponsoring Ada to school because of the financial constraint they are experiencing so all the money they have they spent then on boy the younger brother of Ada, and the boy was going to school and the Ada was at home uh, doing domestic course but Ada, a passionate uh, gear who has a big dream and even a dream of global identity wants to be going to school. So when Ada goes to school, it was really challenging that uh, the mother was even arrested by the police for child neglect. Ada went to the class of uh, Mr. Ko and then all the students were looking at her because she came to the class in the afternoon. No, nobody resumed school in the afternoon. But Ada, when Ada entered, the students were surprised looking at her strangely and uh, some of them were even laughing and making mockery of her. But she was determined and then from that time she decided to go to school. When the mother was arrested by the the police for child neglect and then she spent a day in the in detention and she was given a, a raw gary to eat so it was through the intervention of the father pa that uh, the mother was released from the police uh, cell and also another significant uh, uh, incident that happened in chapter one was the return of the lawyer called Mweze from the united kingdom and uh, no, Mweze was one of the uh, lawyer or a professional that Ada admire so much and Ada want to be like Mweze who they used to call Mweze Binto that is somebody who has traveled outside Nigeria especially either to America or United Kingdom and when Mweze returned everyone we are so happy especially the people from the community of Ibuza we are so happy that uh, one of their sons have returned home and then the chapter ended with uh, the people celebrating the coming of Mweze and all the people we are so happy that Mweze has returned. And also the Ibuza community contributed to the education of Mweze where the donation they used to do monthly some of the part of it, some part of it we are used to give to Mweze and some of the other stu uh, students from uh, Ibuza community who we are studying. So uh, in that ancient Igbo tradition, they used to do such. But I believe now uh, it is uh, everybody on his own. Now, and in the second chapter of the novel, we, we started, the, no the novel opens with uh, the shocking news of the death of Pa, the father of uh, Ada in the novel. Pa died as a result of a brief illness, and it was really, really challenging and in fact, the family was broken apart because of the death 
of Pa. So we saw that uh, the Pa, the father leaves behind the nine-year-old Ada and her brother and her younger brother, boy, and then the, 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 the their mother, Ma. So you can see the trauma that uh, a nine-year-old uh, a daughter will pass through, through the death of the father. The another significant summary, or what is what mentioning in the summary in chapter 2, is the marriage of Ma. Ma has got married to the uncle of her Ada. Ada was not so happy with such decision because Ada does not want the mother to marry again or to follow another man. Rather, she should be taking care of Ada and boy. But I uh, all uh ma decided to get married and then when ma married ada was really really not happy and ada was maltreated ada was asked to do a lot of a domestic call for both her mother and also for the husband and we saw that uh, uh, to make matter worse ada is not allowed to continue attending the pre prestigious lady lack school where she goes to school so her uncle cannot afford the fee so she has to settle for third and noisy school so in fact they did not even want her to go to school at all but because of her resilience he has to go to a school where uh, the mother will be able to pay the school fees and also we saw that Ada entered the school and in chapter two again Ada graduated from the primary school and uh, the parents were not concerned, especially the mother and the uncle, wanted Ada to even get married after graduation from primary school. But we saw that Ada was determined. In fact, Ada still, I think, two shillings to be able to enroll for the entrance, entrance examination to the Methodist Year School, a boarding school. And luckily for Ada, Ada performed well in the entrance examination out of about uh, 947 candidates so ada was uh, among the top three and as a result of that ada was given full scholarship the same in chapter two was given full scholarship to study without payment of a dime and uh, ada ada started school there and uh, we saw that uh, Ada started school and Ada passes the school with flying color. All her exams, she passed them, though she experienced a lot of trauma, especially as a result of not having any support from home, either from the mother or from the uncle, especially in the area of finance. So Ada was uh, able to pass through the school and Ada was determined to even go further in the school. We saw that uh, as a result of that, the home was not friendly to Ada. So Ada decides to get married in, in the same chapter 2 to Francis Obi. So in her own words, Ada's marriage to Francis is purely out of necessity other than anything else. It is a marriage of a convenience that defies all convention of Igbo traditional marriage. So you could see that uh, Ada was 11 years when she got married. And uh, both of them were underage. Ada and uh, Francis Obi were underage. So the marriage did not follow the traditional Igbo marriage right. Rather, the marriage was only conducted in the registry. And I think the only witness to the marriage was the, the mother of Francis. So you could see that uh, the Ada's family were not so, in fact, they were not involved in the marriage at all. And uh, it was so disturbing to Ada for engaging in the marriage where uh, the family in fact it was a hilarious wedding that uh, the 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 marriage only took place in the registered office the appearance of the officer in charge is described as skinny and uh, wearing a black bow tie and also we saw that uh, uh that shined the paper with her thumb with her thumb printing and then uh, uh, there was no much a lot of a uh, uh pageantry or celebration so it was just brief and then she became the wife of uh, francis obi and uh, we saw that a short time after the wedding and that landed a job as a librarian at the american consulate as the american consulate uh in the butemeta area so the workplace is located at a place called Campbell street he pay her pay is three times that of francis her young husband 
and we show that uh, Francis wastes no time in expressing concern over the size of uh, that paycheck. Though Francis was not even happy with the employment, but Francis' father, Obi, was so happy and even told Francis that uh, Ada will use the money even for the benefit of uh, Francis' family, since Ada's uh, family were not in good terms with her. And uh, that was exactly what happened because Ada spent a lot of the money to sponsor uh, Francis' uh, siblings, two of the Francis' siblings, to school in uh, Lagos. And also Ada became the breadwinner of the family. Ada's uh, salary was used for the family upkeep, for the upkeep of the family of uh, Francis. And also in chapter 2, we saw that uh, Ada... Ada gave birth to two uh, two kids. We have Titi and Vicky. So after Ada gave birth to two babies in quick succession, so quick is Ada to get pregnant after sleeping with her husband that she earns the nickname Touch Not. The Touch Not means if the husband touch her, even have sexual affair with her just once, it will lead to pregnancy. So they began to call Ada Touch Not. And that all had also happened in chapter 2. And we saw that uh, it is why Ada is having Titi, a baby girl, at the hospital that her mother, Ma, had passes away. The mother died also in chapter 2. And I can even say Ada was lucky because Ada got married before the, the mother uh, died. If not, the uncle would have even uh, enslaved Ada so much that uh, maybe Ada will be forced to marry anybody that gives money to the uncle. But Ada got married, fortunately got married to Francis before the death of the mother. So the mother also died in chapter 2. And uh, we saw that uh, Titi was born when Francis was still in uh, Nigeria. And Francis was planning to travel to, to the United Kingdom for, for education, to continue his, his study in accountancy, also in chapter 2. And we saw that during that time, and that was pregnant of another child called Vicky. So within the space of uh, seven months, and that was pregnant of another child. And then we saw that uh, Francis departed from Nigeria for England to go and study uh, accountancy. So we saw that uh, while Francis was going, the mother of Francis, the father of Francis, Obi, and the siblings were crying, weeping that Francis was going to leave them for a while. But Ada was not crying. And Francis interpreted that to be somebody not concerned for, for we interpreted that to be an act of indifference, that Ada, Ada was not concerned about him uh, traveling to the United Kingdom, or Ada was not so interested in, uh, uh, Ada was not emotional or not having feeling for him. So he interpreted in such a shallow way, but we saw that Ada was so thoughtful that uh, it, TS was not even part of uh, what was Ada was experiencing. And then we saw that in chapter two also, Ada, also departed to United Kingdom. Though the Francis father and Francis mother were not happy that Ada was going because they wanted Ada to continue working in the library in Lagos and be giving the money to them. So when Ada gave birth to the second child, Ada promises the father of Francis, that is Obi, and the mother of Francis, that when she got to United Kingdom, he will be sending bigger money to them, more than what she's earning in the, in the, as a librarian in Lagos. So they accepted and then they permitted Ada to go. So we saw that uh, at the end of chapter 2, Ada was on her way to the United Kingdom to go and meet her husband, Francis. So we saw that uh, in the process of going, Ada, Ada's younger brother, boy, who, who, which is the only uh, uh, child, or uh, the family member of Ada, also say goodbye to Ada uh, at the airport, and then Ada departed and left. Though there was a lot of experiences that Ada had in the plane, we are not going to be discussing all, all those ones because of time. And then... If you need the summary, you can let me know. I have a comprehensive summary which I will be willing to send to you. And also, we saw that in Chapter 3, Ada, Ada arrived at the United Kingdom. And then Ada was happy that she has got to the United Kingdom. But Ada was nervous because of her dead father. 
she wanted her dead father to witness her being in United Kingdom because she has talked about going to United Kingdom to be one of the Binto from Ibuza community, which the father have uh, laughed over it before. So we saw that uh, Ada remembered the, the father. And uh, Ada was also concerned about the cold weather in the United Kingdom. Ada was worried. And then the Ada even was disappointed in a way that uh, she saw some old houses. She thought that uh, United Kingdom was something even better than heaven. And then she was surprised that she see a lot of uh, old houses and uh, strange white people white people who are aloof not even concerned about what is happening around them and then we saw that uh, the building that had that find in england shocked her the more she cannot believe that uh, this is the united kingdom she heard so much about so the building look gray and green and rather dull appearance moreover it is difficult to define the apartment building and uh, we saw that uh, Ada was not so impressed, especially when she got to her destination where Francis was living. So Ada cannot believe what she is seeing in Francis' room. The room, the room Francis showed her was too small. There was no kitchen, there was no toilet. So they have to use public toilet. They have to cook in one side of the room so it was really really a very poor environment and then when Ada queried Francis of not having a better accommodation Francis reminded Ada that Ada was a, a, a second class citizen and all the Nigerians our Africans we are second class citizen and they uh, were not treated just like the white people so Ada also experiences a lot of hostility from Francis in chapter 3 we saw that Ada was uh, Francis was so hostile to Ada. The behavior of Francis changes, always getting angry at Ada and always attempt to hurt Ada, even physical assault. So we saw that uh, 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 the even Francis wanted the children to be adopted by a white woman, but Ada would refuse and Ada was more concerned about uh, giving her children English education, standard uh, education. And also we saw that uh, in the same chapter 3, we saw that uh, Ada find out that she was uh, pregnant. That is pregnant of the third child. And then we saw that uh, at first, uh, Ada was worried about the pregnancy. And then she also got a job. She got a job as a library assistant at the North Finley Library in London. And then Ada was happy about that. And then the money from that was used to take care of the family. And in chapter 4, we saw that uh, Ada was so careful about some of the people that are working with her. She has developed a, a relationship with people working in the family library. And uh, one of them is Miss Conrad. And uh, another, uh, Miss Conrad is from, uh, is from Zech Republic. And then... She's a friend. She's friendly with Ada, and then we saw that uh, uh, most of the Nigerians, there in the United Kingdom, have their children being uh, adopted by white women, which Ada was not comfortable with. Ada also brought Francis brought the issue of uh, adopting the child, but. Uh, for the children to be adopted by the white woman, but Ada still refused that. And also we see that uh, in the same chapter 4, Francis still fail her exam, fail her uh, exam. And we saw that Francis has been busy failing his exam in cost and work accounting. Cost and work accounting was what Francis was uh, studying, but she failed the exam like nobody's business. And uh, anytime he failed the exam, he blamed uh, 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 Ada for it, though Ada was not the one responsible, but the, she vent the frustration and Ada. And uh, we saw that in chapter 5, uh, Ada suffers a lot of uh, hunger. And then uh, because the money was not enough, after taking care of the family, the money she got from being an assistant librarian, assistant librarian in a family library, was not enough for her to even buy food and eat in the place of uh, work. And also in chapter 5, we saw that Ada's uh, child, 
uh, was sick, Vicky was sick, and the other had a premonition when she, where she was working in the Finley Library. And then she returned back to Truly, for, to Trudy. The Trudy was the one uh, that was taking care of the children. Ada will bath Vicky in the morning and then take Vicky to Trudy to take care of Though Trudy was like, more like a prostitute. And then we saw that uh, Ada, when Ada went there, the child was very, very sick, and Ada decided to take good care of her, her daughter. And then an ambulance was called, and then Vic was taken to hospital. Then Francis came to the hospital and was also crying like a woman. He did not even comfort the wife, rather, he was crying. And then it was discovered that. Uh, uh, Vicky was suffering from the disease called viral meningitis. And uh, Ada was so concerned, there is no money to even pay for the issue. But Ada continued. And then uh, we saw that in chapter 6, um, chapter, in fact, chapter 6 opposed with a sad looking Francis coming into the hand of Ada and uh, handing into the hand of Ada an eviction notice. Now, the owner of the house is no longer comfortable with the Negroes or the second class citizens uh, uh, staying in his house. And then he decided to evict all of them. He gave them eviction notice and Ada began to search for house. Any house is go to, they will say, sorry, no colored. That is somebody who is dark skin is not allowed to rent. So they began to look for house everywhere and the pressure mounts on them some of the neighbors have fucked out about Ada and the Francis we are still living the landlord was talking to them and making reference derogative reference to them always and even some of the neighbors and then we saw that uh, at the end of it Ada was very 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 sad and then we saw that uh, Ada was not able to get uh, the issue of uh, um, the house and then we saw that uh, they, they were still searching for us. And then in chapter 7, we saw that uh, there was a lot of uh, stories about Nigerians, especially Nigerian immigrants, those who were doing well in Nigeria, coming to the United Kingdom to come and suffer. And especially the story of Mr. Nobu. Mr. Nobu was from the royal family in Bini City in Nigeria. He has about five wives in Nigeria and he was doing well in he has about six wives and about 20 children in Nigeria he was doing well in Nigeria but he decided to go to United Kingdom for a greener pasture and then in United Kingdom he was even living as a poor until he met a a a, a, a homeless white girl and then from there he got married to the child uh, to the white girl and uh, he even was able to build a house there. And it was Janet. Janet was the one that, uh, uh, and then Ada encountered another person called Baba Lola. And then we saw that uh, it is Janet, Baba Lola's wife, and a friend of Ada who alerted Ada about available room in Panobu's house. Panobu's, that Nobu was not his name. That noble was given to him by the people he works with as he always behaved like a noble and claimed that he was a nobleman in Nigeria. So they began to call him Mr. Noble. So Ada um, and Francis uh, met Mr. Noble and then there was a vacant room, uh, about two rooms in uh, Mr. Noble's house. And then Mr. Noble gave it out to Ada and Francis. It was Ada that paid for it. Then uh, in chapter 8, we saw that Ada was so worried about her behavior. Not that her behavior was, was bad, but it was, it was, Ada cannot understand why she keep on tolerating the bad treatment she get from people, particularly Francis. So she's beginning to understand that Francis uh, keep treating her shabbily because she herself keep calling for it. So her patient for too much self-sacrifice in the interest of just anybody is largely responsible for her trouble. So she's been taken for granted by Francis and some of the people she treated kindly. So Ada decided to uh, be more me or more serious with her life instead of placing anyone. And then we saw that Ada was pregnant of Bubu at this time. And then Ada met Dr. Houston, who told Ada that Ada will not be able to give birth to the child through the normal way rather Ada will go through surgery it will be through cessation surgery uh, 
um, surgery. So Ada prepared for the surgery and then the child was, Ada was taken to the hospital and then we saw that the midwife have come to assist Ada at home but Ada was not able to give birth to the child at home. Then Ada was taken to hospital and then the surgery was conducted and the child Bubu was born. And even when the child was born, there were a lot of embarrassment because the child, Ada was not able to get some of the clothes, especially the clothes for uh, pregnant women. So they began to call Ada poor Negro woman in the, in the, in the, in the hospital. And then we saw that uh, um, uh, Ada was the third child. Sorry, um, Bubu was the third child of Ada. And uh, Ada was even embarrassed by the nurses because the remnant, the cloth given to Ada during the labor, Ada continued wearing the cloth for days because uh, Francis was not able to provide anything for Ada. And that even elicited a lot of uh, uh, insult from the, the hospital management. And then in chapter 9, we saw that... Uh, the, the night dress, they call it the night dress. So we saw that uh, a significant incident in chapter 9 is the embarrassing situation that that has to go through just because Francis cannot even give her a night dress, a night gown. So she alone has to suffer for the indignity of wearing for days a shirt like Guan that the hospital has provided for her only for temporary use. But she has been using it for for days because it was uh, Francis was not able to do anything so we saw that uh, Ada was given a sum of money from the library she was working in London to take care of herself and the baby it was like uh, a delivery package from the from the library management but guess what Francis used a large sum of the money to take care of himself and to pay for his school fees and uh, to pay for his exam without letting uh, Ada knew of it, and when she revealed it to Ada, it was so challenging. So Ada was so sad about it because Francis spent a lot of money before telling her. And at that time, Ada was still in hospital, in which she needed a lot of care and needed a lot of money. And we saw that uh, apart from the, the experiences, Ada learned a lot of rules or learned a lot of lessons from the hospital. One of these is that uh, there are husbands in the world who live up to their maternal responsibility. That is, they took care of their wives who gave birth. And Ada also learned that uh, she too has got right and a wife of her own and a life of her own. So she will now be concerned about her own side. Now she learned that uh, she, uh, she has right and a life of her own. She will be more concerned about herself rather than pleasing irresponsible Francis in chapter uh, 9. Then in chapter 10, we saw that uh, Francis got a new job and then she whines about the job. So for the very first time, Francis out of necessity has to look for a job and then she got to work for an income. So this is the situation that Dad returns home from the hospital with Bubu uh, to meet. And then we saw that Titi and Vicky seems to welcome their new little brother into the mist. But Francis was not so concerned about it. And we also saw that uh, during that period, it, Christmas was approaching, and then when Christmas was approaching, Ada does not even have anything. Although um, um, Francis was a member of Jehovah's Witness, which do not do not celebrate Christmas, but the major thing was that there was no money to celebrate Christmas. So the wife of Mr. Nobu and some of the neighbors. Ada, Ada keep on telling them that they do not celebrate Christmas. The reason was because Ada do not have money to give them gift. And even to buy gift for the children was difficult. But we saw that uh, Miss Conrad, which is what the superior, the immediate superior of Ada in the library, came to uh, aid. She bought gift for the children. And then the Christmas was uh, barely celebrated by the children. So we saw that in chapter 11 of the novel, we saw that Ada was determined not to give birth to another child again. So Ada went to the hospital for, for, for family planning. And Ada does not want, because Ada already have uh, three children. She has Titi, she has uh, um, Bubu, which she just gave birth to, and then uh, she has Vicky. So she does not want to give birth to another child again. So 
why should I approach the hospital? The hospital management told her that, that okay, the husband has to sign. And that knew very well that Francis would not sign such. So she decided to forge Francis' signature. She forged Francis' signature and then uh, the, the family planning was contracted. But they also, Ada wrote a letter to Boy, telling Boy about her experiences, what she's passing through in the hand of, uh, in the hand of uh, uh, Francis. No, note that boy was the younger brother of Ada. Though boy was not, boy was disturbed when she read when he read the letter, and then he was worried because nobody forced Ada to get married to Francis. In fact, it was Ada that got married to Francis by herself. Nobody without the consent of anybody from the family. So, uh, we saw that uh, um, Francis also wrote Francis. And Ada also sat for exam. No, Ada was hoping that okay, the family planning uh, drug given to her will work, and then she will not get get pregnant again. But uh, unfortunately, Ada got pregnant again. The pre pregnancy prevention drug phase, then Ada got pregnant again. Then Ada passes her exams. We saw that few weeks after the family planning cap incident, Francis received his latest examination result, and it is yet another failure. Ada, on her part, is able to pass part of her library librarianship examination. The wife Francis was not able to pass her canteen exam, Ada passed her librarianship examination and in with flying color. Though Francis blamed Ada for, her, for his failure again, as he always does. Then Ada was expecting another child. Then we saw that uh, the child was born, and then uh, the child was born, which is uh, Dada. At the close of the chapter, her dad discovered that she's expecting her fourth child, the baby girl, to be named Dada. So it does on her way into the family of Obi. The pregnancy clearly represents Dada with a new challenge. It, the, the pregnant presents Dada with a new challenge, and then uh, she had to she hoped to avoid because she doesn't want to have another child again then in chapter 12 we saw that uh, in the summary of chapter 11 and that fade in her desire to stop pregnancy now it is time to have another child though Ada attempted abortion but it does not work out the child was still willing to come out so we saw that uh, Ada was so disturbed, in fact, depressed. And then the, 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 the gulf between Ada and Francis began to widen more. Began to widen more in the sense that uh, Ada was no longer, in fact, the love for Francis was dying so fast. And then Ada was even realizing that she has to leave Francis gradually. So we saw that uh, at the end of it, Ada gave birth to another child, Dada. And then before the end of uh, chapter 12 again, Ada had another job with a chalk farm library. The chalk farm library a bet, uh, offer a better pay than the family library where she was working before. And then the chalk library is a place where Ada finds employment in London after returning from the maternity ward of the University College Hospital. So we saw also that uh, while at chalk library, Ada meets B, one of the staff there, and also uh, B is a Canadian, and then Adam meet another person called Peggy. A close relationship developed between Adam and her colleague at uh, Chalk Library. So, and uh, the, at that time, Adam also was uh, planning to write the novel titled The Bright Prize. But however, Adam was so distracted because of the violence between uh, between Ada and Francis. In fact, the violence get more worse, and Francis began to the uh, Francis was womanizing right from the time Ada came to came to uh, London. But it became worse. In fact, Francis began to uh, to approach all the ladies in the neighborhood, the married women and the single uh, ladies, and uh, Ada was not so comfortable was not so comfortable with that again and also francis bought the manuscript of the bright prize that ada wrote ada used the period of the maternity leave to write a novel called the bright prize though the bright prize detail how ada got married and francis was not comfortable with such story and then she burned the entire manuscript now ada planned to leave francis because of the violence and then the physical assault being meted to ada 
always. Then we saw that Ada, though not happy with the turn of event, cares very little about it. At this stage, uh, things have come to the heads, and then uh, she is bent on leaving Francis. Now, for the first time, she has some concrete plan as to how to break up with Francis. She wants to go and find a place for herself. And then, and that also, it is now three months since she has been to a smallish looking Indian doctor. So, her mission was to prevent another, after giving birth to Dada, she does not want to give birth to another child again. But, uh, unfortunately, we saw that, uh, in fact, Ada got pregnant again, and Ada also regret. In fact, Ada regret coming to London. I regret coming to London because of the situation she 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 met herself. Then she even sat down and was worried in a place called Gospel Oak Village. It was a park, and then she met one person called Mister Okwara. Mister Okwara was a distant. Uh, a uh, friend in Nigeria from Nigeria here, and Mr. Akwara was thinking that Ada was still with uh, um, Francis, but at this time Ada has uh, left. Ada sh and then Francis showed little interest on the on the this team on the, the pregnancy that Ada have. Now another quarter follows, and then we saw that uh, Dada was born from Bubu. Bubu was born and then Dada was born. So when Dada was born, Francis began to work again. And then Ada wrote, used the period to write the bride price. And then we saw that uh, Ada prepared to leave Francis totally. So Ada decided, oh, in chapter 13, sorry, in chapter 13, Ada wrote the bride price. So after writing the bride price, Ada decided to leave Francis. Because he used the period of uh, maternity leave after giving birth to to Dada, then she used it to write her, um, and Dada is a baby girl. She used to write the bride price, and then I've told you that uh, Francis born the bride price a manuscript, and also in chapter thirteen we saw that uh, Ada was very 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 uh, concerned about uh, some of the problems that uh, she encountered. And then Ada was so worried about the, how the situation has turned. And then Ada uh, searched for new house. After searching for new house, and then we saw that uh, Ada's dream even changed totally. Ada showed the bright price to or to the friends in the in the farm library, and all of them commended Ada. And then we saw because of time. Uh, we rush the remaining one. So Adam move out, and when Adam move out, uh, Francis says she's never going to leave, look for Ada. So Adam move out with her four children, with Titi, Vicky, Bubu, and Dada. So she got a room, and also she live alone. And Francis did not know the place, but however, Ada fol uh, Francis follow Vicky and Titi from school to the house where Ada was living, and then he began to fight Ada. In fact, he began to assault Ada again, and then Ada discovered that she was pregnant for the fifth time. See? So, a big fight happened. In fact, Ada was severely wounded in that chapter 13 before moving out of the house, and uh, when Francis came and still fought Ada in the place where Ada got newly, Ada had to go to the magistrate court. We saw that uh, the Indian doctor who treated Ada after the fight encourages Ada to take the matter to court. So thus, Ada reported the case to the magistrate court at Clanway. So Ada, even in fact, the Indian doctor told Ada to call her as a witness. And that will lead a lot of punishment for uh, for Francis. But Ada does not even want Francis to be punished. She only wants Francis to be restricted by the court not to come to her house to assault her again. And then Francis lied about the bruises uh, on the Ada's body that Ada fell down. And that was why Ada sustained the bruises. And that did not even uh, counter the argument. And then Francis get away with all those uh, uh, allegations. 
and then she defended her way and France defended his way through those lies and then uh, the magistrate restricted uh, Francis from getting to a dance or a place and then that marked the end of the uh, of the novel second class citizen and then it was an interesting novel so Ada after leaving Francis began to look for uh, he charted a new course, started a new life with her children. And then we saw that uh, it was uh, really, really an interesting time for Fran uh, for Adam. So it comes to, the novel comes to an end with uh, 